Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Back to the Future. Um, let's, uh, what do we need? Easy. Pardon me, sir. From the way you're dressed and your general aura of seediness, I can infer only one thing. You're heading for Tannen's speakeasy, am I right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Can't you tell me the way? Down! Straight down! The last stop before the Inferno. Unfortunately, I don't have the power to stop you, but I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds and listen to my song. Me, 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 me! You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care! <laughs> what in heaven's name? Oh, sorry, Miss Strickland. Just a little experimental prototype gone momentarily awry. Mr. Brown, why is there a dog in that vehicle? Why? Well, well to advance the human condition, of course. Hello, Sonny. Sonny? Mr. Crockett, what are you doing in that getup? Um... I'm going undercover. How exciting! You'll have to give me an exclusive sometime. Right now, I've got some souls to save. And you'll have to get an eyeful of my newest experiment. You're not angry about the rocket drill? Huh. Water over the bridge. I've moved on to bigger and better things. Come by the gazebo when you get a chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Ivy and I have been up to. Famous last words. All right. Now, where's that speakeasy? Uh, it's right over this way, Marty. Oh yeah, if I press shift I can run. Who sent you? Ulysses S. Grant. What did you bring me? Meat and potatoes. What's the word? Words are for wimps. Okay, can I get this right the first time? That would be amazing. Who died and made you boss? Ah, I hate this question. Boss Hog, what will you do if I let you inside? Um. Lego your ego? Take a hike, Squirt. Damn it. Ugh. Who is the king of Siam? Damn it. The old gray mare? Oh, come on. Who is the king of Siam? Euronymous Bosch? I don't know. Who gave you the right to knock on my door? Um. I don't know. You're on Miss Bosch? Why do you give me such hard questions? Who died and made you boss? What boss you go? No, Hog. Boss Hog? What will you do if I break your leg? Lego you ego. Right. Lego your ego? Where are you going? I want to click this. <laughs> I don't know if it's the right one though. I'll just click this. From Russia. Uh, with love. Yeah, he's a bastard. Who gave you the right to knock on my oh. door? Joe Piscopo? Who died and made you boss? Boss Hog. Boss Hog? What will you do if there's a raid? Radio for help? Where do you hang your hat? Hattiesburg. 
Yeah. Hattiesburg. Welcome to L Kids, sir. Woohoo! Yeah. Like tenth try. Why is matches? So Ladies easy? and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to once again present the hottest little number this side of the Rockies. And when I say my pleasure, I think you all know what I'm talking about, am I right? So let's have a big L kid welcome for the one, the only, Trixie Trotter. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. Out of my way, kid. I got some sorrows to drown. My star is on the ascendant. That's why I don't care. I don't care. Why do you need subtitles for that song? It's quite clear what's what. Yeah, I need to talk to a bunch of people here. Hey, I know you. You're Parker. Oscar Danny Danny Parker. Hill Valley PD. Uh, have we met? You look familiar. Nah. Well, stranger, sit down and have a drink on me. Um. I hear you've been having troubles. Troubles? Buddy, nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Want to talk about them? Do, do I? Do I? Yeah, I do. Listen, it all started when this car... Every morning, every evening, ain't we got fun? Not much money, oh, but honey, ain't we got fun? Whoopee! Yeah, now, about those troubles... Oh, I don't want to wallow in misery. I came here to get happy. Hallelujah! In the winter, in the summer. Stop drinking. Would you be drinking so much on duty? Probably not. But this joint ain't open when I'm off duty. Shouldn't you be arresting Tannen? For what? Well, for running a speakeasy, for one thing. Well, I like this speakeasy. So there. Besides. If I arrested him, I'd have to arrest you, and me, and everyone else in here! And that's just way too much work for one little cop like me. Yeah, right. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. I'm supposed to get this guy to arrest Kid Tannen tonight? Did you just see that guy? The animation, um, he lifted nothing and drank from nothing. <sighs> Excuse me, are you Trixie Trotter? That's what it says on my dressing room door. At least, it would if I had a dressing room. What's a nice guy like you doing with a guy like Tannen? Oh, kid ain't so bad. He just takes some- Hey Toots, any chance you could sing that can-can number? The guys really love the way it shows off your, uh, assets. <sighs> Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> and quit lazing around. I ain't paying you to yak with the drunks. You ain't paying me at all, you bum. What were we talking about again? You were telling me what a great guy Kid is. Yeah, I guess he is a pretty crummy boyfriend. But until my insurance policy checks out, I guess I'm stuck with him. Insurance? Yeah. Look, I may not be the brightest bulb in the marquee, but even I know you don't break up with a creep like Kid without something to keep him from going all crazy on you. What's this insurance policy all about? Are you kidding? There's only one person I trust with my secrets. But I ain't seen him in weeks. You don't mean... Artie McFly. Artie McFly. You know him? Not as well as I thought. Before he took a powder, Artie was tutoring me in all sorts of stuff. Etiquette, philosophy, accountant. He's a regular renaissance man. He even had one of those smart guy professor's pipes, see? Can I borrow this? Sure. I've been secretly working on my get out of kid card for weeks now, but Artie's the only one I trust to check my work. You can't be too careful when you're dealing with a maniac like Kid, you know. <sighs> this is going to be long. This is going to take ages. Hey, you can trust me. Come on, what's the dirt you got on Kid? Nix on that. I ain't spilling nothing till I talk with Arthur Mc. <gasps> 
L Y. Hey, if I arrange a meeting with Artie, could you use that insurance of yours? Use it? Heck, if what I'm sitting on pans out, I could send that bozo all the way to the big house. I'll see what I can do. I really like your voice. Thanks. You should hear me when I ain't so under the weather. You're sick? Oh, yeah. Sore throat. That's why I'm giving Q-Ball so many extended solos tonight. I kind of wondered about that. Do you know Sister Christian? I don't do religious tunes. Hey, your songs seem to have a big effect on Officer Parker over there. I am humbled and gratified that my musical gifts have fallen upon such receptive ears. <sighs> I don't care. What are those? Are they lyrics for one of your songs? I haven't memorized them yet. Break a leg out there. Thanks. She's supposed to turn on Kid Tannen tonight? Okay, Doc, if you say so. Uh, where should I go now? Hey, you! Are you talking to me? Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my Eunice. Oh, lay off, Ernie. He's kind of cute. You think you can just waltz in here and make a play for another fella's girl? I want to click yes, but I'll click no. Give me a break. She's not my era. Now you're gonna insult her? I oughta paste you one right on the- Let him go, Ernie. Jeez, you're a mean drunk. Uh, I want to get him out of this room. Doing it again? You're trying to steal my girl, ain't you? Yes. Maybe. What are you gonna do about it, chicken? That's it. You're toast. <clears throat> Looks like you need to cool off for a few. I won't talk to her, she's boring. I need... yeah. That was already at the front. Like, what? Why? Troubles. Uh, I'm not really in the mood to talk about it right now. I just want to drink and listen to Trixie. Alright, I need to put on the sad song. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. <laughs> yeah, shut up, Trixie. You can shut up now. about those troubles. They all started on uh, uh, June 14th. I was chasing down one of Tannen's boys when this uh, this car straight out of Buck Rogers popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later I, I lost track of a witness. The poor love hasn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then to top it off, 
I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist when not one but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, my gal Betty left me because she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Betty? As in Jennifer's grandma Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Oh, that ship sailed. What the heck with her? I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. <sighs> secret somewhere. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. I said this might take a long time, and it is taking a long time. Wait, what other songs are there? Oh. <laughs> Can I somehow escape from this? Come on, let me get out of here. Okay, so you can pause the game much easier apparently nope you can't do that okay good Danny you you got a secret what is it oh yeah my secret well you're my pal so I can tell you but don't let it get out I've been working for Tannen for over a month now what? It's true. All I gotta do is look the other way while evidence is getting destroyed or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line and Tim makes sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my pay envelope. Great deal, huh? No. No, not a great deal. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? But people are getting hurt. Kid's a killer. Ah, oh, that's just rumors and circumnavigational evidence. Although, that wall of fame is pretty spooky. Oh god, I've made a horrible mistake! I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back. But when she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Come on, Danny, pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad? I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. How's that not so bad? A <laughs> uh, happy song? Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Oh, wait, I didn't read the goal. Oh, right. Um, I'll look at a hint because I'm not quite sure. Yeah, right. Okay, so I'll leave that for next time. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.